What's going on YouTube? We're back at it again with a, another OPO1 Road to Treasure Cup list. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bit of a different uh, take on this one just because obviously there's 50 different ways you can run law. Um, so we're going to be taking our kid law back out for a test run. I'm trying out uh, a couple new cards. I'm trying out the killer. I cut back a beam. Uh, I did cut one beige for another killer. Um, you could argue it's probably better to run the extra one drop. Uh, I'm just trying this out for now. Uh, there's no extra. I'm just running the two uh, ST killer for red removal. Other than that, pretty much what we... Oh, no. I'm a liar. I am running more Brook. Brook is good for Kaido. As you know, this 8-cost kid variant can struggle a little bit into Kaido. So we are running the extra copies of it to help us aggro out a little harder early. Uh, but besides that, everything else is pretty much the same. Um, four Cat Viper, three Robin for opposing green mirror. Helpful into red a little bit for getting rid of Robin. Other than that, fairly standard. I'm putting back our one of round table tech. Uh, only card I can see myself like bouncing between is this law for Hawkins. Hawkins helps deal with ACOS kids with things like Otama. So I, I'm a big fan of the card now, now that the meta has, you know, finally developed itself a little bit. Um, people running Yamato, you're playing it wrong. This card's shit. Don't put this in your kit, your, your law decks. I mean, it's, it's so bad. Literally no synergy, no ways to restand, no way to do anything with it. It's just meh. Like you can say, oh, it helps against the red mirror or red matchup. Yeah, but at the same time, that's not why you're losing the game. You're losing the game because they're putting a fuck ton of pressure on you. I do like the card because of that, because I'm expecting red to be like everywhere uh, come Miami. I feel like it's going to be a, a big chunk of the field, but at the same time, I don't think this card is warranted uh you can't search it unless you're running the momo package and then th there's a lot going on there <laughs> like momo i don't think is worth diluting the deck with more wano country just to be able to have this one tech card against red does nothing in any of your other matchups the amount of times i've ever been able to connect or have someone connect this on me is literally zero <laughs> Uh, it will get blocked, it will get countered, then it will die. It, that is not a good card. <laughs> I at least want to have some sort of value for my card when I play it. Other than it just being a counter stat. So, especially for five guys. So, ah, I, this card is doo doo. <laughs> uh, but let's take out our first variant and see how we do. Right, first game is into Zoro, I think. Uh, been getting a bunch of. Um, OPO two zeros. Oh, there it is. There's the jank. <laughs> so maybe it's just regular. We'll attack five. Yeah, we'll attack five. Play Nami. Of course we would. It happens. <laughs> Play Bonnie Pass. Running extra copies of Brook and I still live. God dang it. <laughs> Robin, and he's going to attach two to Luffy. Uh, we'll 2K out first. And then we'll take six. No trigger. That's good to have for later. Um, this is annoying. Uh, let's just attack five here. We'll save killer for when he attacks with this. And then we'll activate Bonnie. 
Oh, I wish I had another one drop in hand, bro. Fuck. Uh, shit, man. I definitely don't want to play another Bonnie out. We can just play Zoro. We'll play Zoro and pass. So we can attack here, pop this, and then attack me with leader is probably the play. <sighs> I mean, it's what I would do anyway. gonna pop my Zoro. Interesting. Oh, she did. I will take this. Uh, I'm not really racing here, so we'll attack, see if I take a 2k. And I do. Cost me five, and I can bounce and then play Robin. Let's try it. We go kill there. I replay Bonnie out, play this here. We'll bounce. Her, play Law, Bounce, Killer, play Robin, and pass. Alright, so we're, we're okay-ish now. Opponent still has quite a few cards in hand that we have to fight through. Uh, we're still at two life. Block with Beiji. Life is almost guaranteed dead. <laughs> he gets Uda, gets Robin back. If he hard casts Robin, that's stupid. Okay, he plays Zoro. Uh, that forces the counter. Take the the law, I guess. Um, It lets me do that, and then I'll hold one up for beam. I should be able to stabilize. Should. <laughs> uh, the only thing that would make this better is like an ACOS kit or something. 
If he attacks Law, I let it go. Law blocked for me. That's basically what he did there. So he has four unknowns just because he did take a Robin, uh, but discarded it, so. That's a little scary. Um, all right, I get rewarded for bad play. Don't put it all. <laughs> Now I have to do this play. Zara is as good as Luffy. I feel like every time I fight the red players, they always have just the right amount of 2k counter. <laughs> On the off chance, his last card is the Apple John Bay, half the block. <laughs> uh, opponent's thinking though, like, do I go to law or do I just keep going to face?
Has he pistoled me? <laughs> Alright guys, this is what's gonna happen, right? So I'm gonna attach one to Robin, I'm gonna attack face, and then I'm gonna get instant punished by pistol. Lose my only blocker, then lose my kit. Okay. That pause there is just like, oh god. Blech. Plays Brook, attaches two to leader. Takes a block, plays choppy. Okay. Five, six, seven. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. What was my opponent playing? Don't play Usopp in your deck, guys. It's a terrible card. Let's play more Brook. Oh, man. All right, guys. Game two is into our best matchup. So from worst to best. He chose to go first. Actually, don't mind this one. This is one of those matchups where I can play Bonnie safely. I don't really have to worry about much. This combination of Robin Otama puts in a lot of work. I'm okay with him attaching two Don and then trashing a card from him. That's good value for me. So he can bounce Robin back, that's fine. another card out of the hand that's 2k something i don't have to worry about uh and then we'll play robin uh really prompt him to do the attack for me uh leaves him only three down to work with so he can do a leader swing that card is ass I'm about to get max value here. If he has another Spada up, it's not a big deal. There's also a reason why this card is just terrible. Um, 
Not every match will you be able to have five cards in hand. And on top of that, the double attack, like I said, with Yamato is just meh. The benefit is that he costs four, not five. For the same stat line of five. Okay. To get extra value here and just hold the Zoro for later. My word. Definitely don't want more Zoro. <laughs> I drew all of them. Or I was gonna draw all of them. Sheesh. Um, so we'll play Chopper. Bounce Robin, play Law. Bounce Bonnie, play Robin. Attach one. And. If you spot us again, again, just cards I don't have to worry about later in the game. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember. Did he bottom three? He placed him on top. And then we'll pass. This is why this matchup is horrendous. I kind of just get to play solitaire for a little while while he gives me cards to my hand off my life. Um, it's not towards the middle of the late game where he comes drop seven and nine. Does it matter too much? But again, this card is just so medium. Let's see what he picks up here. It's just blocker, Dofi. Mike Sarna gets to make his life horrendous. I'll block with Choppy. Tama on one of these. Uh, attach two here, attack here, pop one. Then uh, I'm so far ahead at this point, I can attack with my law. Shambles, Otama for law, bounce Robin, play Robin, attack for seven with my leader. Yeah, you take it. And I pass. all my Facebook friends who always try and recommend play play a uh, Kiko Maria from set one don't do it guys this is why it's a vanilla 5k in almost all situations we'll block with choppy uh, six Don means no Dofi no Mihawk you can play laws more blocker that's pretty much it
plays like Boa, I kill that with pistol. I'm in a uh, pretty good control here. I have no reason to worry about cards like this. Blocker passy. <laughs> okay. take two cards out of your hand, and I can still shambles. Um, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no coming back from that. Oh, boy. Uh, lost game one. He had literal eight 2k counters. What a lucky man. <laughs> I'll keep. Never have I seen so many 2k counters. <laughs> He's running Orochi, uh, X-Drake. What's the other card? Uh, ulti. He had it all. Literal 8. Uh, to win the game. <laughs> Can't believe it. Uh, who's who is a mediocre. that Oni anyway. Next turn he goes to seven. So I have to be mindful of that. Uh we'll attack, pop. He'll counter. Uh, I would like to see law. Don't doesn't happen. We'll take blocker, I don't need zero. Nami see Zoro anyway. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Um, I want to put Bonnie back to hand, so well, Tama, nothing. Play Zoro. And pass.
uh, we block there just because I am going to have to put pressure on him now. Take the law. Two, so I have four Dom to work with. Let's just keep attacking for six. So I don't get cooked by 8,000 2k counters in the end game again. <laughs> Actually, he only goes to nine. Huh. Plays our again. Uh, we'll only attach one. Right? He's at seven, so he goes to nine. So I'll attack six. Takes it. I like to hold blockers in hand, but we'll do this and pass. So next turn, nine drop doesn't completely cuck us. Bomber, all right, whatever. Part of me just really, really, really wants to go face. <laughs> like, really bring him down. So now 10 drop is not a card that he can play anymore. Otherwise I just attack 15k to face. Four or five. That's fine. I don't want the card. <laughs> He had it last time. 
probably has it again now. <laughs> All right, guys, that was the end of our part one, taking out Kid Law again. Uh, this is what we ran for our three matches. It ran okay. Um, I'm a big fan of this list just because ACOS Kid lets you fight out of so many different situations or like puts you so far ahead in mirror matches against Kid, um, Blue. Uh, with the other version, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a game of it. Uh, it could Blue becomes a lot harder without ACOS Kid. Uh, I will say that much. Uh, specifically, Blue Crocodile, which guys slept on deck. Uh, <laughs> keep thinking it's bad and then get washed in tournament. Uh, it's hard to prepare for it because you have to play very well, so you have to have someone who knows how to play the deck well. Uh, but that deck is still just still pretty threatening. <laughs> but anyway, this is what we ran. Stay tuned for part two. Please, please like and subscribe and check out the second video that will be down in the description. Peace.